much today. Yeah, man. So today's going to be a bus session. As you are aware, we put a questionnaire uh, the weekend in regards to making sure that these videos offer a lot more value than just us training. So we're going to start off today with a bus session. It is based around working the upper clavicular pec. Clavicular. That's the word going around at the moment. Also known as the pec. Uh, so we're going to start with a few compounds moving into some accessory movements for the delt, especially the rear and side delt. And then we finish with some triceps. During today's session, you're going to see the level of intensity of the trainer, as well as doing some coaching cues, hopefully giving you some value and some good tips on how to thickness, add more thickness. quality to the technique. And push two, push two, and come on. Show them a little bit what it is. Push two right there. We'll start off with our dumbbell work. We want to have plate loaded, flat press, into the spin, the more bumpy set. We're going to do seated cable fly. Yeah, we're going to be using the new little D handles we've got on there. Get a nice big front of the front. in that? Clavicular. Clavicular fibers. Clavicular. Right about there. Ready to be at the end. Any thickness. Um, and then we we'll finish off some isolation work at the end as well. Some rear delt stuff, some, some, some side delts, etc. And we'll Post talk downs. about why we sequence these exercises right. as well. One of the questions were um, how do we program clients' exercise selection and why? So we'll talk about the reasons being, you know, in such a training age, experience, lifting ability, strength levels, etc., etc., and obviously why we sequence the programs the way we do. Today, a shoulder mobility drill. Now, one of you, one of you, asked the question on shoulder mobility, and shoulder pain before training. Now, obviously, this is a big subject, so it comes down to a few factors. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a generalization one that we go through ourselves in opening up the shoulder joint, releasing the chest, releasing the lats to help the shoulder get into the correct position. And then how about uh, mobilizing the shoulder, getting into position, and then the potentiation of basically firing up the muscle before we train. Uh, now, if it's a bit too general for your issue, obviously you can ask again and we can be, get a bit more specific. Yeah. So Danny's going to be the mascot. He's the fresh face. Through it. Yeah. Right, so he's going to go into a weighted stretch. And basically, he's going to open up his thoracic, as you can see at the back. And obviously, opening up his lap joint, putting his shoulder to the full range of movement. Now, the reason we like to watch for a weight variation is it takes you past the point of stretch. Rather than just doing it on a machine and doing it passively, you've got the weights doing the work for you. Now, yes, some may argue you shouldn't static stretch before a session, so that's why Danny's actually moving as he does the stretch. So it's not a complete static, it's a great way for opening up the shoulders. Hi guys, so next, we want to think about shoulder stability before we start training. So now you can either use this in two variations. You've got the lat pull down variation, or you can hang it on a pull up bar. And it's basically a scap up. So what Danny's going to do, he's going to be working, dragging his shoulders down, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the bottom. It's basically the lower traps are also known as the trap free. And the central muscle when it comes to shoulder stability when you're pressing overhead and flat. Now you can work this off sensation, the fire up, is the muscle engaging, yes or no. Anywhere between 15 and 30 reps, sorry about the noise, 15 and 30 reps, you'll feel them shoulders start to switch on. And as you can see, it's also putting down the shoulder in the correct position, locking down. Now like we said, we can do the variation on the pull bar, but for you, for as experience, you can use the lap pull down. We use just a bold up to our first kind of sets. We start to use some potentiation just to feel the muscle, feel what we're going to be training. So we'll always start with rear, rear delt banded pull aparts. Yeah, same thing again following on from the, from the scap ups, just trying to fire things up a little bit. Once we drag these away, you're always thinking about dragging the hands as far away as you can. Yeah, we'll then flip over, kind of use that into a bit of a fly. Now you can go into the cable fly as well to keep it fairly light. But if you've already got it in the session anyway, and you're just thinking about initiating, pushing through the elbows, 
trying to get as much blood, trying to get everything into that chest, just before you start to prep. A bit of a prep exercise more than anything. Yeah, that's the key with this, this is potentiation exercise. Now before you train, if it's a push pull legs, you want to think about the last exercise before you move into your first, is switching on the muscle, if you want to call it that. It's thinking about the muscle you're trying to work, engaging it, getting it full of blood, getting it warm, and then you can go into the first exercise and you'll get way more from your training. You want to hit the ground running so to speak, don't yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So, much pre-app, so much pre-work to do the better. Yeah. So as you'll see now, we've done the three exercises, we've mobilised, we've stabilised, and now we've added some potentiation. So now we're going to go into our first exercise, which is the big movement of the day, a 45 incline dumbbell. One of the keys when we're doing this exercise, as you can see with the 45 incline, it's one maintaining the tension to keep the dumbbells quite light, so to keep holding the pec, it's keeping the chest tight. When we see the chest stay high, we know it's contracting, dragging his shoulder blades down. Which again, we're trying to increase that stability on the shoulder. Then at the top, he's focusing on pushing his elbows together, bringing in the contraction at the top. And again, because of the foot we've done so far, we keep connected mind to muscle. Titties. Ugh. Well, go. Yep. Ugh. Again. Ugh. Big set now. Big set. Big power. Big power. Drive. Yes, go. What's up? The king is back. Oh, surprise, surprise, motherfucker. The king is back. Oh. Yeah 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 So hard to ghost, yet I'm ready to die. Not B.I.G. not limited to the sky. If the doves cry, then label me as a prince with a bad bitch that's covered in cheetah print. Oh shit, want it for the most swag? I'm the culprit. Trade the unknown shit, you ain't on this. You game just like the Home Alone flicks. These ain't off white, these were only tokens. Oh, I'm the token, black guy, that's right. Tell the whole world, kiss my backside, watch your girl. Spread like Wi Fi, easy as pie. Who let the fat guy loose? Back to black roots, back to stack rats and pack the black coops. Attack with contract, back in black suits. I am what I am, I'm Zeus and Jesus. What it do? Still got it. Yeah. Come on. Go away. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. Nice, Come on. Yeah. Uh. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Up. Yeah, Isaac. Nice. On it. Big drop. Up. Up. One. Yeah, finish. Ooh. We started on a heavy compound with the dumbbells. So our stabilization occurs at the shoulder there. So now we've moved the incline and we've gone to a flat. Take the, the chest from a different angle. But also I switch into a plate loaded. We can just focus on pushing and squeezing using the pec and not to worry, not worry too much about what's happening in the shoulder. What we often find key with this exercise, well it is key, is you set up how far up the bench you're sitting and how low. Because realistically you want that handle just to come to the side of the chest. If you go too high or too low down the bench, it's going to feel more in the shoulders. And then if you go too high up the bench, it's going to be tightening the shoulders from the low, it's too low. So as you'll see, we'll all be figuring out 
have a set up on the bench as we increase. Flying the rear delt fly, everybody calls them something different. But the way I like to coach it to my clients is the rear, the rear fly is going to target the mid back. So if Danny goes into his fly now, he's going to pull all the way back to pull his shoulders into the position and he's going to focus on the squeeze here. However, we focus on this movement on a pull day. On a push day, we're going to target the rear delt fly. Now, the way I like to get it across to my clients, again, if Danny goes again. It's a smaller range of movement. He'll only pull back maybe an inch or two shorter than his reverse fly, and now you will isolate the rear delt. And the idea of this movement is not about the load, obviously, we want to lift as heavy as we can, but it's about the tension we're putting on it within this what we'll call as an active range of movement. 
So to reiterate, the rear delt fly is a reduced shot, a reduced range of motion. Then the reverse fly is where we're working the whole upper back, especially the rhomboids in the middle. And ideally, we don't get a demo when it's done three sets of 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll side you up. Pull it. Hold on. Um, side me. Obviously, side raises as well. Keep the traps out of the equation. Let's put the shoulder drop back and down. It's both about squeezing the elbow, pushing it nice and wide. It's trying to feel like you're sort of scraping dumbbell as far away from the hip as you can. I'll just keep the tension where it should be. And it's quite easy to let the trap take over if you want to do it over So you'll see how it starts to shrink the shoulder and come up. We're trying to keep this pin low. Yeah. It's trying to drag as far away as you can. So we're leaning away just trying to try and increase that range of motion as well. I'll do this on the trip. Alright, here's the thing. Here. 10 reps to pump up. Right, so as you've just seen, we've just seen myself do a lean away side raise. One of the reasons is when we lean away, we increase the range of movement that's going through the shoulder. Now another nice variation is a single arm side raise or lateral raise. As we can see when Danny gets to the top, there's a slight internal rotation of the shoulder. Some people like to use the cue of the point of the tee. It's actually the rotation of the shoulder we're after we can isolate the side down. Doing one arm at a time, you can really dial in and focus on the, the muscle doing the work whilst keeping the trap low. 25 reps, I said. Top guy, strong guy this side. It's taking forever doing a demo. Rep 305. I'll be good. 307. Down on the right. What do you need Okay, so we're going to go into a short roll cable press down for triceps. Now we're going to start with what we call the pump set. So we're going to pick a, a load that we can, we can control, squeeze and contract. Say 15, 20 reps, just focus on sending the blood to the muscle. We're really getting a swell on. And then we're going to focus on our three working sets. And one of the reasons why I like to program that in for myself and clients is with a pump set by sending the blood to the muscle when you do get to your working sets you get way more from the contractions, the stretches, and the squeezes. It's like you're greasing the joints a little bit there. Yeah. Well, it warms nice them up. Obviously we've used them with the major compounds when we press, but the more we get out of these exercises, finishing off the final our fibers that are working, we get way more from it. You want to cue the tricep ball then? Yes. Okay. That shoulders down. Man. So thinking again about keeping your shoulders drop back and down, keeping the elbows tucked in. You can let them slide forward a bit, but we're always trying to think about keeping this as like an anchor position. Because that's going to get full flexion in the thumbs up, squeeze the bicep, full stretch in the tri, then we'll fully lock out at the bottom as well. Every time he comes down, just squeeze and lock out. Full flexion, squeeze. Always keeping these elbows nice and pointed. 